Alright, we're all empty now. So we're just gonna go through here, get rid of any expired medications and kind of organize them into categories. And then I'm gonna go through all our cups and kind of figure out which ones we need and which ones we don't really use anymore. So just like, I haven't used this in two Christmases, so that one will probably be finding a new home. And I'm gonna organize my teas and maybe take them out of the boxes and everything, but I'm gonna purge and then clean and then we will reorganize. So these are the only medications that we're A, using and B, aren't expired. All of this is expired, which most of these big bottles are calcium pills that I was given like a few years ago. And then it's mostly like allergy pills, but holy cow, y'all check your expiration dates, which I know like taking expired ginger is probably not a big, big deal, but the fact they're expired means that we don't use them and don't need them. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. Um, these are all the bottles we're still keeping. I still need to go through the teas now. Okay, so I'm, in order to seal the tea, I think I'm going to put all of these bottles up really quick. And I really, really want, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, um, my goal is to get all the bottles up so I can organize all the teas really quick. And then I would really, really like if I have enough room to put all of the dog stuff on the shelf or the next shelf up. I think I could get it on this one because it's a little taller, um, which also I need to wipe that. I only wiped this side. <laughs> um... But yeah, so that way this counter is just clear other than the coffee pot. So we'll see if I can manage that now that all of that medicine is cleared out. Because these are the only things I'm going to be keeping down here. Um, two things of um, lactose, because I'm lactose intolerant, and one bottle of ibuprofen. Anything else we're keeping over there, like um, vitamins and anything like that, I'm going to put up in the linen closet with all the other medicine. up here christina made a suggestion to move the dog basket under here so that, that dog stuff isn't in with like drinking stuff so we took everything out of there i'm going to reorganize that in here in a second but so i'm going to put my nutribullet up here which actually works great because i keep my nutribullet cup up there yes this is turning out great I think the only other thing I need to do is figure out what I want to do with the teas. I kind of want another bin like that for teas that I could either put up here sideways or back here. But I don't have one, so now for now I might just put them up there and then get one later. Okay guys, we got the ginger ale off the floor. It's been there for like two weeks. Everything is organized. My very rarely used items are at the top. All of our coffee mugs are over here on the right. And on the left is water cups or like water bottles. And then coffee station, which is right by the coffee maker, sugar. And then tea station, which I'll be getting probably another one of those or something similar. Shake station, which I use daily. Soda for alcohol, <laughs> wine glasses, tea steeper blender beautimous let's fix this up real quick Chance on faith, you're my insubordinate, please. Take a 
Okay, now all that's in there is the dog bin, which this bin just has extra like chewy bones that we don't give them very often. All these favorite treats, so we save for special occasions. Uh, minty things, like these aren't things we access every single day. Um, whereas their daily treats for coming inside and stuff right here, so. Let's put that over here. Now I think I will consolidate these items because these are all dog stuff too might as well just make this the new dog thing and then we'll have this completely free whether we want it for baby stuff or whatever All the dog stuff is officially under here, Linder. under here I had like this bin had like our hair stuff and then I had one shelf for guests and one for us but mostly this is I need room for the baby so I'm gonna have to put a lot of this in the linen closet slash get rid of what we don't need anymore I didn't realize how much was under here okay guys final is this is all a bath kit so we have bath bombs over here on the left and salts all of these little face masks and kind of like spa type stuff are in here and then we have some like donut size bath bombs in here and then this is what i use to keep the bath from overflowing and this is to make sure that i'm not taking too hot of a bath and then on the top we have just a few things for guests like shampoo and conditioner and um, little things that they might need and then we have all the baby stuff so washcloths and sample shampoos we've gotten and then these this is the baby's body wash and body oil so that's all the products and then i put our straighteners and curler down here so much much better than it was for sure good lighting for you like beautiful thank you <laughs> okay i'll show you guys what we have going on so this is where christina keeps well uh, where we keep the hair dryer and then this is some extra hair products that we don't use every day but still want easy access to lotions um sprays and like body oils 
We have nail polish and nail polish remover, and then this is all of our summer stuff, so I'll pull that out once it's warm, but it's mostly like aloe and stuff like that. Then up here we have like kind of first aid Q-tips, hydrogen peroxide, and alcohol. Um, this is like our emergency kit. If Christine has a cut, I just run down there because it has band-aids and cream and stuff. Um, I have Tums back here. This is like, the back is the muscle release, so I have all Christina's like salves and like dry, icy hot and stuff. And this is KT tape and her lidocaine patches. This one is PMS relief, which I'm going to label these after this, but it has like the rice bags and my doll and all the kinds of things you can take for PMS. This is like wart and sinuses, so it's just like some extra stuff. These are, oh, this is for like stomach relief. So it's like gas X, Beano, laxatives, those kinds of things. And these are all of Christina's prescription medications for like random aches and pains. And then up here we have cold and flu. So you can see it's very big. We have lots of options. We got teas and uh, like Dayquil, all, everything you could ever need. Cough drops, Kleenexes, Mucinex, whatever you need. So we just have extra things up here. We have like five extra bottles of these shampoos that we got for free. So we have that, some hairspray, extra mouthwash, um, masks. And then down here, lastly, these are like extras of like toiletries. As you can see, razors, deodorant, toothpaste, all those things. And then all of our candles. Candles really bother me right now, so most of our candles are stored in there until I'm not pregnant anymore.